Uh, no, that's mm hmm. Yes, right. Oops, oh, we ever so clumsy. Ah, oh, well, no harm done. Um, what was let's that? check back with Alan and see if that sorted everything. Oh, here, it's starting to get a bit of trouble. Yes, you have to get your co-pilot to watch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but this game was, is based on today. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, is that an airplane reference? I see Allard's activated the <laughs> autopilot and skived off. <laughs> uh, so if, if you guys are like me and like who are really, really old and not young, this is a reference from a film called Airplane. Uh, can I can I talk to it? I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. I'm Frank. She doesn't look like Arthur at all. Call me Captain English. Welcome. Captain English. How may I be of assistance? <laughs> Is there a Mr. Autopilot? I have to. I don't suppose there's a Mr. Autopilot, perchance? Compiler error. Incompatible types. Access denied. <laughs> I love how she kind of looks like Cortana as well. <laughs> Um, how do you think the mission is going? So, uh, how's everything going? Are we on track to be finished by tea? ETA to waypoint. Tango Echo Alpha. Calculating. Calculating. Cannot define. Please refer to string length idiom for more details. <laughs> so if you didn't get that one, there's an idiom uh, we have in Britain called um, How long is a piece of string? So, like, if if someone asks you a question, you don't know the answer. It's like, oh, um, how long are you gonna be? It's like, well, how long's a piece of string? <laughs> However long you make it, is the answer. So, <laughs> that's that's hysterical. <laughs> so, how long have you been an autopilot? Calculating, calculating. Error. You do not have permission to access this data. All right then. I think I'll log off. It is now safe to be removed. <laughs> I know you see the autopilot's working, enjoy... unlike Sub Lieutenant Jones. <laughs> I know you don't have to be old to enjoy airplane, but it's only us oldies which have actually sit down and watched it, and it was part of our youth growing up. Okay, so I reckon he's in the kitchen making a cup of tea. What do you reckon, boys? Can't be on the sofa plate because we got the controller. Oh. oh my god, they've got the um I forgot what that's called. Crap, it's the Hot Wheels. Hello? What are you up to? Sub Lieutenant Jones! Hi boyo. Who's driving the boat? Nobody. We're tied. I turned the autopilot on. Hmm. She was only installed a week ago and already her standards are slipping. <laughs> Hang on, I need to say this. I don't suppose you noticed anything out of the ordinary earlier when I was performing that emergency systems reset procedure. Specifically immediately once the power came back on. No. Why, should I have? Well, well I don't know. Probably not. Forget I mentioned it. <sighs> Alright, what are you doing? What is it you're tinkering with there, Jones? That isn't... That isn't our reconnaissance rover yard is assembling, is it? 
Well, but, funny story. <laughs> While you were downstairs attending to that very complicated, laborious task, flicking that switch on and off, I've been running a variety of pre-mission calibration tests on the Beagle 2 too. I presume that's why the floor's covered with bits of toy Hot Wheels track. <laughs> Firstly, the fact that this modular vehicular pathway simulation system happens to be mass-produced and branded as a children's toy is irrelevant. <laughs> and secondly, yes. <laughs> oh my god, this game. <clears throat> That's all well and good, Sub-Lieutenant Jones. However, if I recall correctly, we were specifically advised that the Beagle 2-2 tended to function significantly better when its complicated array of electronics and mechanical components were positioned inside its aluminium housing. Look, I just have to make a few minor repairs. During a centrifugal force resistance simulation, the rover proved exceedingly resistant. So it uh, flew off the loop the loop bit. That would be a valid interpretation of events, <laughs> yes. Okay, if you guys don't know, Hot Wheels is it's a little toy car and you push it down the orange tracks and... Ah, oh, Jesus, this game. Okay. Sounds like I'm okay. going to be required to go on some kind of scavenger hunt. What do you need? To get the rover going again? For the time being, that's all I feel I'm obligated to offer, yes. I think the rigorous nature of the, uh test may have burned out the main motor. I see. So, I'll have to find something to create some sort of electromagnet that'll revolve when a current is passed through it. I'll have to fashion a pulley system of sorts to drive power to the wheels. Something with a taut elastic band should do the trick, like an alluring undergarment. Now, if I was to remove the elastic... Alternatively, but you could just always grab me a spare. We've got a cupboard full of them. Ah, oh, it's, it's the, um... Be yeah. sure to put your toys away when you're done. It's the, the, the cupboard in the bedroom, which is locked. I assume. See this one, then. Be terribly brutish for one to resort to force to open this door. I'm sure I'll be able to find a solution, lest I become unhinged. Oh, right. Can can we use cheese on the door? Use cheese on the door. No, nope, wrong one. Hmm. Very odd. It appears to be stuck. Use cheese on door. I can't use these two together. Why not? You. He's done it again. Like if I. Examine it's it, a maybe? popular household brand of washing up liquid. With a goat! <laughs> no percent longer last. <laughs> Quick! Use washing up liquid on door. I doubt combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. Mm. Alright then. Ugh. Hang on, he's got tools. Maybe if he's got like something we can borrow? It's Wales' own son, Sub-Lieutenant Jones. Look, there's a screwdriver right there. Can I not borrow a screwdriver? Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Aye, boyo? Can I borrow... I want that screwdriver. Just give me that screwdriver. It's very, very simple. <sighs> Be sure to put your toys away when you're done. Fourth wall's broken. Ooh, is that toolbox there? Hang on, I think I walked past it. Oh, it's a spoiler. Spoiler warning! Let's sit on the sofa. See if we. Presumably the manufacturer opted for shards of metal as opposed to goose down. Hang on. Shards of metal, you say? Shards of metal? 
The upholstery is made from genuine organic polyester. Last time I was this uncomfortable in front of a TV was when I watched that genital piercing documentary <laughs> on Channel 5. Have some cheese and we're watching TV. Use cheese on sofa. I'm sure there's a more practical use for this. Now, if we give him the cheese, if we give Alan cheese, Alan, Alan. Cheese. Unfortunately, dairy is one of three things Sub-Lieutenant Jones is allergic to. The other two being early starts and manual labor. Seems to be doing manual labor right now, but... you'd make a fortune. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Think about the game, guys. that load. Ah! I believe I have to do this all over again. I can know while I'm here. Oh, he's already walked to the door. Right. No, you can only save... Damn it, I thought you could only save at the... Damn it, I could have done that, yeah. For some reason I thought you could only save the typewriter, like a cliché. Okay. The box is sealed shut. Why, it would be impossible to determine the fate of any biological life form inside. a warmth that you simply don't get with digital, especially if you burn the sleeve as well. Preserved thanks to the <laughs> tireless efforts of hipsters from all corners of Shoreditch. Ooh. Lullabies. Oh, you can see the guy in the tank, it all glitches out. So, do we put this in the turntable now? There's nothing on the turntable. We tried the speed mail. Let's try the lullabies now, shall we?
They're sound asleep, helpless to oppose the future forced upon them. <laughs> like the... Hmm. It doesn't appear to be working. It's a precision-engineered German motorized screwdriver. Well, we know how we're going to take the door off. <laughs> Toys away when you're done. <clears throat> it said that all the motors were in the got a cupboard full of them. I assume it's the cupboard which is in here, which I'm going to use the screwdriver on now for. Now, if we equip the screwdriver... Quick. Oh, keep pressing the wrong one. Right! I'll have this open in a jiffy. I don't think that's how um, hinges work, mate. Oh, they were locked, and the hinges go on the other side? Aha! That's what I'm after! <laughs> Splendid! Why, that was very straightforward. However, I can't help but feel if I had my time again, I'd do something different. <laughs> oh well, best get this to Alad. <clears throat> Yeah, I just got an achievement as well called "She, She's Behind You, which is a pantomime reference for you who aren't British. Oh my god, this game is so British. Use motor on our lead. <clears throat> Let it not be said I don't give you anything, Sub-Lieutenant Jones. An unhealthy reliance on migraine medication already proves that, but... <laughs> now get this mess cleared up and put the Beagle 2-2 back together! Uh, right, it's saving now, so at least about that. For the last time, the left stick moves it forward and back. The right stick turns it left and right. WASD. By Jove, it works! In 600,000 yards, your destination will be on the right. You've reached your destination. Sub-Lieutenant Jones, we've arrived! The new, new world! Oh. Quickly, break open a container of property of ER2 flags and prepare a landing party! As much as I'd love to jump onto the surface and soak up the radioactive atmosphere of this uncharted, hey. most likely fatally hazardous planet, I think it may be an idea to send the Beagle 2-2 down first, just to get a feel for the place. I considered your suggestion, Sub-Lieutenant Jones, and have made the executive decision to send the Beagle 2-2 down for a quick recce, prior to making our own triumphant descent. The extra time will allow us to properly consider which 19th century member of the aristocracy to name this place after. <laughs> Launching probe. Wow, we're like a we're like a land buggy. Um, that is definitely a. Uh... Oh, uh, gosh! I didn't realise we had full damage switched on. <clears throat> right. Well, we'll have to go down and salvage the rover. It'll look very embarrassing if we lose another one of these. Set us down! There was a Statue of Liberty thing! No, I just tried to... Oh, that's the rock. 